Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. Let's talk about antibiotics. Usually when you get some type of bacterial infection like strep throat or pneumonia, you go to the doctor, get some antibiotics, and you are all good to go. But this may be changing sometime in the relatively near future. That's because some bacterial infections are becoming resistant to these drugs. They are called superbugs. But let me tell you, I'd much rather have some superhero insects in place of these. At least that spider dude saves people. See, every year about 2 million people get sick from a superbug, and about 23,000 of them die in the US alone. So yeah, that's not so super. And to make it even worse, any strain of bacteria is able to turn into a superbug. One of the best known examples of these is the Clostridium difficile bacteria, or C. diff for short. These bacteria live in your intestines. However, the other good bacteria in there as well helps keep you from getting sick. But if you have been taking antibiotics, the drug may have killed some of the good bacteria, allowing for C. diff to take control. And once this happens, it can cause life-threatening diarrhea, and you may even have to get part of your intestines removed, but we're not going to show any of that. And that's not even the worst one. A family of bacteria called CRE has been linked to be resistant to almost all known antibiotics. In fact, it is so serious that the Center for Disease Control and Prevention is calling this one of the most urgent public health threats that we currently have. But how does this even happen anyway? What's causing these bacteria to become resistant to different types of antibiotics? Well, these bacteria aren't getting swole at the gym pumping iron, but like any other living creature, they are evolving. And sometimes mutations in their genomes can cause them to become resistant to certain antibiotics. But also, a much more terrifying explanation has to do with plasmids, which are parts of the bacterial DNA. The plasmid enters and multiplies itself within a cell and can then be transferred to others. So essentially, these plasmids are the vehicles that transfer genes for antibiotic resistance between different bacterial species. Or in plain English, plasmids are part of the reason that one day, antibiotics may not be able to help your strep throat anymore. <coughs> <coughs> Oh no. The bad news is that the more antibiotics you've taken, the higher your risk. And also, the more times you're in the hospital, the higher your risk. Now, you should absolutely still go to the doctor and take antibiotics if you need to, but the point is that you shouldn't take them unnecessarily. And also, to be safe, you should always wash your hands thoroughly after using the bathroom or preparing food. It looks like the medical industry is in need for some alternate ways to treat bacteria infections, because otherwise they may eventually run out of antibiotics that actually work. I know this might seem scary, but maybe it could be a motivator. Go humans! You got a lot of surviving to do. So what do you think of all this? Or tell us what we should talk about next. Let me know in the comments below. As always, I'm Blocko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.